Oh, Apple, oh, Apple. What is going on with you? You launch products, you cancel products. Mm, you know, that seems like a strategy that something is going wrong. Or you are taking advantage of the consumers like guinea pigs, okay? Let's test this new half-baked product and launch it to the market. Launch it to the market and see how it goes. Now, uh, let's let's try. Uh, not it, this is not script, guys. Just a, you know, just a test, and let's go backwards and try to find products that Apple cancelled. I remember the iPhone 5C. That was a low-range or low-budget iPhone, uh, and that I can understand why they, you know, they stop manufacturing after one year that product. But then something, uh, you know, that I remember Phil Schiller saying, "Can't innovate my." I don't say the rest for the young people, you know because now of the YouTube restrictions on swearing. And that's when they launched the Trash Can Mac Pro. You remember how much time it took? It was on late 2013. I had one. I sold it already. And, you know, he, uh, they launched that product and they recognized after several years, after, I suppose it was on 2016, or beginning on 2017, they recognized that it was a mistake. Now, what a big mistake for the general consumer, you know, that bought the product, believe in you, Apple, and you cancel the product, you know, okay? No more innovation, no more upgrades, nothing, okay? A pro machine. Then, uh, now, when I look at this, I don't know if this is true or not, but if it is, well, uh, uh, my opinion on the iPhone 10 was that that product was already not even half-baked, you know, that was, it's like a prototype, let's launch this to the market and see, and see how it goes, with a price range that, you know, uh, only us can do. Uh, plus $1,000 gadget, phone, for the people. And people will buy, will buy it, you know. They love the, they love us, you know. They, they will buy everything we do, you know. They don't know what they want. We know what we want, you know. That arrogant position, Apple. That's a wonderful way to look to your consumer, to the guys that give you the money to build uh, donut, donuts, buildings like a donut you know you say like it's like a spaceship uh, i don't know what is going on i don't understand what's going on i'm uh, i was you know i was i'm going to make a, a setup video for you to show you what i still use okay in order for you to understand you my audience and the the, the guys that are watching these kind of videos for the first time on what i still kept keep from Apple and what I already sold, okay? Uh, this thing that uh, is now uh, no, uh, on the news, on new, uh, regarding they will cancel the iPhone 10 because the demand is not what they were expecting. Uh, I think, uh, no, that's very good, you know, that's very good for them to learn that they cannot mess with the consumer. They cannot mess with the guys that give you the money. I didn't bought any iPhone 10. no, no. I look at that and that's in fact, not because of the product, well, also because of the product, but honestly, because of the price, you know. Uh, Twelve hundred dollars here in Portugal, euros here in Portugal for a, a, a phone. You know that's a lot of money. The 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 minimum uh, wage here in Portugal is five hundred and fifty euros. So uh, you know, uh, of course, it's not a phone for everyone. I know, it's not a gadget for everyone. I know that, but nowadays with all the competition. 
uh, people are not dumb and they are not stupid, you know, most of them, uh, most of them, because, uh, for example, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8, well, it's, it still does the same as the iPhone 10, but I'm, I'm, I'm going off topic. Now, what I want to, 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 to make a remark is that the time is coming, you know, uh, spring is coming and uh, the results will, will be for the quarter will be presented today and they will be okay, okay, they will be because it's, it, it was the Christmas time and everything, the holidays time, so they will present nice results, but uh, today in the New York Times uh, they are saying that the sales for the iPhone 10 weren't as Apple was expecting. And uh, why? Now, my opinion, it's f because of the price, okay? Not because of the design of the product. I think the product looks nice, okay? Looks nice. Uh, it is, a, for me, it is a prototype. Everything uh, in that phone, for me, it's a prototype. It's not baked at all. The next generation, we'll see. Well, I don't know if there will be a next ge generation iPhone 10. That's why they skip the nine, guys. <laughs> now they will they will do a, a, a nice one, a nice phone. It is the nine, I hope. Um, no, something is very wrong with that company. Okay, uh, something is wrong with that company. Uh, I don't know why. You know, uh, they. Uh, the management of that company only looks at the numbers, 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 and they are forgetting the guys that give them the money. And uh, this is not the first time that I speak about this, but I have to take this out to my audience. And, uh, and this channel is began with talking about Apple, and uh, I always uh, was extremely positive with Apple when Steve Jobs was alive. Everything was perfect, you know. And nowadays. Look, HomePod, what is that? Huh? What, uh, what, <laughs> what is the innovation on that? You know, they already lost the market for Amazon and for Google, uh, the Google Home and the, 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 uh, the Amazon uh, Echo, they all already, or Echo or Alexa, they all already lost that. They are too late. Siri doesn't give have the chance now to 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 be in the same battle as Google and Amazon. You know, it's uh, what I ask Siri. What's the weather? Uh, ask me. Give me a reminder. Remind me to do that. Or I don't know. You know, small things. And they were they are launching a, a HomePod. Well, they will sell it. I know they will sell it, and people will re regret it by it. But okay. Now, another thing, do you see the iOS 11? Uh, do you see the macOS iSierra? Everything is extremely buggy, you know, it's not working well. Now, they, in the news, they said in iOS 12, they will be, you know, uh, focusing not on new features, but they were, they are going, you know, to make a stable operating system, something that people can rely on and not buy $1,000 equipments and have a laggy uh, operating system. Uh, by the way, the iMac Pro, uh, there is videos on the, on the web, you know, and everything is a little bit laggy. It's a $5,000 computer they launched to the market, you know, with the same form factor, large bezels, and they sell that for five thousand dollars and people buy it well i will not buy it not at all not at all i'm extremely conservative nowadays on products that apple is lot it's launching to the market i will not be their guinea pig i suppose that the term in english uh, i will not take part of their experiment uh, experimental devices you know Please, Apple, test your devices and then launch something that is, in fact, very useful and robust, robust as you always have done it.